Hey everyone, today we have a Toyota Vitz, commonly called a Toyota Yaris and the customer is having problems with the low beam headlights so the park lights are working, the high beams are working but the low beam is not working so we'll go through the steps hopefully this will help you figure out what's wrong with your headlights so let's begin we'll turn the headlight switch on now and as you can see the indicator on the dashboard has come on. So this is park light. And now that's on low beam. So we'll just go outside and have a look at the headlights if the low beam is turned on. So that's the low beam. And this lights, neither of them are working. That was high beam. That's low beam. High beam. Park. Low beam. High beam. So on this particular model, the fuses and the fusible links are located on the passenger side next to the battery. So you want to come to the fuse box and just push this. diagram is handily available on the cover. I don't know if you can see that's your headlight left and right. The 10 amps which are down there. Now you can pull these out and manually check them but if you have a multimeter I'll show you how to easily test them without pulling them out. So you've got 12 volts on this side of the right hand side fuse for the right headlight and that's the other side bring it in closer that's what I'm checking You also want to check this 30 amp fuse here. That's fine as well. This indicates that both fuses are fine. As I showed you there, um, all the fuses are fine. From experience, I've had problems with these switches. They do tend to play up over time. What you want to do is you want to cut the steering wheel so that you can get access to both these screws. One on this side and one on that side. You want to take off the cover on the top. And we'll just check the contacts on the switch. If I hadn't worked on this type of vehicle in the past, I would have probably gone and checked the relays as well. But having experienced issues with switches on some of these models, it's just easier to see and inspect the contacts on the switch itself, on the main headlight switch. So we'll go and do that now accessing that screw there and there's another screw there which I'll show another point I didn't mention earlier is it might be worth checking your headlight bulbs as well but uh, given the circumstances as I did show you earlier if both bulbs are not working then it's safe to assume that the headlight bulbs are not the issue but it's not particularly difficult if you had to pull out the bulbs and just use your multimeter and check it on the ohm settings check for continuity between both circuits just thought I'd mention that just in case you're unaware because it's not uncommon either I have seen bulbs and vehicles where both the left and the right are fail normally what happens is one side will fail a month or a couple of weeks prior and people won't notice it because one light is working then when the other light fuses then people tend to notice that the actual bulb is not working so when you got both the screws out just those two 
These are plastic too, not similar. Okay, so you want to come to this the headlight switch here at the back and you want to pop this cover off it's a little plastic cover like so drop your steering wheel down so you can get access that's puck that's low beam that's high beam So, I don't know if you saw that, so you want to clean the contacts between those two points there. So when you've taken off those covers at the back there, all you have to do is just pop this plastic cover off as I showed you. And with a bit of sandpaper, you've got to clean each contact in between them. I'll put up a picture now, so you'll see what I'm talking about. Because it's a bit hard to try and show you exactly how it's clean. But I will try my best and show you. To put it in there and just give it a good sand. And you can pull the switch to close the contact. And do it like so. So usually in these widths that's the main problem. Uh, easy way to tell is if your high beam is playing up. Or your low. If your high beam is playing up then you won't get the indicate on your dashboard but obviously if the low beam is playing up then you, your low beam circuit will not work yeah, I'll put up a wiring diagram as well now just in case anyone needs to refer to it hopefully that helps them out but yeah we'll just give your context a good clean with a little bit of sandpaper and you should be good to go from there Hope this was of some help to someone. If it was, please like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.